What's going on, family? Welcome to Mind Games Uncut. It's your boy D Maze. Y'all know once again, we are back with some other news. So yeah, y'all heard about the FedEx the FedEx driver, the two brothers who got fired. Man, I saw the video yesterday, and this white guy comes out the house and start cussing these brothers. Talking about he thought they was trying to rob him or something. Dude, you see them with the FedEx um, um, uniforms on, but anyway. We'll get right into it. Let y'all listen to the um, the audio, what they were saying, and all that, and we we'll get back to it. All right. Fired two of their drivers after a video of them confronting a customer over an alleged racist incident in Georgia was posted online. The video, which was uploaded onto social media by Antonio Braswell, shows what appears to be the aftermath of an incident that took place in Leesburg. During the clip, which has been viewed more than 4.7 million on Twitter, a black FedEx employee is seen challenging a wild male who is recording him on his cell phone, telling the customer, you didn't have to come out here cussing me like that. The standoff continues for several more seconds before the driver gets in his vehicle, tells the customer that he is not waiting for the police to arrive and drives away. It is unclear what sparked the argument, but according to Blackwell, it occurred moments after they delivered a package to the white male's house. As soon as we were leaving he ran out his house cursing and threatening us and we just apologized but he kept escalating the situation then kept saying he would whoop our black asses, he tweeted. That's when we told his wife to get the police on us, that's when he kept following us then he pulled out his phone to record us and start playing the victim role we drove off at first but they yelled F asterisk asterisk K y'all, so we stopped the truck and that's when I started recording the incident, after the video the police came and we told our side of the story and the man said to the police, they look like they would have broke into my house while my wife is there, the white dude was lying the whole time. In a follow-up tweet, Blackwell claimed that the company called him and told him to take down the footage before firing both him and the driver seen in the clip. I'm reposting this video because people like him doesn't matter white or any race should never disrespect essential workers putting their lives in jeopardy especially with this COVID-19, Blackwell added. As the clip went viral, hash boycott FedEx became one of the top trending topics on Twitter, with tens of thousands of people demanding that the workers get their jobs back. Elsewhere, a GoFundMe page for the men has since gone on to raise more than $46,000. In a statement, FedEx said it was aware of the incident and has launched an investigation. It said it did not fire the men as they were employed by an independent service provider, which is no longer providing service on behalf of FedEx, but has offered employment to them both. A statement added, we are aware of the incident in GA that led to the release of two drivers employed by a service provider. We're offering employment while investigating to ensure an appropriate outcome. We take seriously allegations of discrimination, retaliation, or improper employment actions. FedEx and Blackwell have been contacted for further comment. Yeah, so y'all heard it. Man, and it happened in Georgia. What's going on in my state? You know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff going on in my state right now. So anyway, man, this is crazy, but you know, the brothers did what they're supposed to do. Matter of fact, let me take my glasses off on this, y'all. Look, check this out. Look, I don't know what's going on with some of these white people. <laughs> y'all tripping. I don't know. You can blame it on Trump or the new America or whatever. I don't give a damn. Y'all going to, hey, I don't know. Hey, I'm just saying. You're going to run across the right one. It seemed like he ran across the right one because them brothers was like, hey, you should see the video. I didn't show y'all the clip, but. Um, I don't know if they took it down or whatever, but them brothers, that bro, one of them brothers went in on that guy. But that guy was disrespectful. Like he said, he a central worker um, risking his life. You know what I'm saying? He risking his life to come out there with packages, touching and all that. Then had to deal with a bunch of, with an a-hole, which this guy was. He was, he was a scumbag. You know what I'm saying? And you gonna come up here and you will disrespect a brother, a man, period. Like I said, ain't got, ain't got nothing to do with the color. That was just dumb. And that was, um, that just, it was stupid. You know what I'm saying? So... The point I'm trying to make, man, I don't know what's going on with some of y'all white people. And y'all here, y'all in my home state, you know how some of us get down. You're going to run across the right one now. The, the brother, he did it the right way. He was recording it too. I know the white guy was recording and all that good stuff. But look, man, <laughs> I'm telling you, y'all need to stop this. I'm, I'm, I'm warning y'all, y'all need to stop this stupid stuff. You're too cocky. Even some of your women too cocky. Y'all going to run across the right ones. You got some of us who don't give a damn, but some of us ain't going to talk. 
You know what I'm saying? Now, you he said he thought somebody was breaking into his house or whatever. Dude, you seen them guys in uniform. And you I'm pretty sure you probably got cameras because a lot of people got the cameras on their do doorbells and stuff. Look, man, just say you racist. That's all you got to say because we are sick and tired of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't have plenty of white people, white boys come drop packages off from FedEx, UPS, and I never said anything out the way to them. Just like when the brothers and the sisters come and drop packages off. So why do you say that? You them guys in uniform, that's a bunch of BS. You're lying, man. Stop doing that. I'm trying to tell y'all, this is not the time for this. It's not the time. But it's too late now because this been this been built up for a long time. These guys had lost their job. They say that they was, I guess they were working for a third party company or something. They were contractors or something like that. They say they still got a job. And I'm glad that they put this on Twitter, on social media, so we, so people can see this. I guarantee you, if them brothers didn't put that on social media, they would have been fired. They wouldn't, got no, they, wouldn't have, they wouldn't be able to get employed or nothing. They say they got $46 million. I need to go find it, go find me. Um, and, it, it, and you know what? Um, yeah, because I had put, put my GoFundMe for uh, Kenneth Walker, but I went back on there. It was down. I don't know if it was a dummy account or whatever. But anyway, these brothers got to go find me. I'm going to find out and see can I get it. And I'll try to repost it later on and stuff like that. But that's good. They 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 put this they put this out. It went viral. I'm glad because you got a bunch of these races. Boy, <laughs> y'all know what I want to say, right? But anyway, this is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Show you how America really is. You got a lot... Of, you still got a lot of racist white people in America. And they make it look bad for the other ones who's decent. You know what I'm saying? But some of y'all need to stand up. Y'all need to come out and, and, and talk against this. Because this, this was uncalled for. You know what I'm saying? These guys was doing their job and that was it. They was doing their job. And, and they got to come in and get this kind of abuse. Oh, no. Like I said, you got some of them brothers, even though they was working, they would have went in and gave them the business. And it looked like that brother was about to give him the business anyway. So, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> I seen the video, man. This brother, like, just, just come on up so I can knock you knock you out, dude. But anyway, y'all, that's all we got on that. But look, if I get any more information, I'll most definitely put it out. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all subscribe. Like, subscribe to my channel. Make sure y'all share. Peace.